Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be trying a few things. First of all, the start of the show is the new Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Wear Foundation. And from the same line, we have the matte inks. I do have two, one I'm wearing on my lips and it's my in my bag downstairs. And this is the other shade. As you can see, I have the foundation on. And also, we are going to be trying the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which is so raved about all over YouTube. And I've been wanting to get my hands on it, but they just appeared in the country where I live in, so I bought it. Okay, so before moving into me explaining a bit about every and each product, make sure you subscribe down below to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos I put out every week and uh, let's just jump into it okay so I have two shades of the foundation and this is the 05 light beige and this is 10 which is ivory so basically this is the lightest shade and uh, this is the next one the difference between them you guys it's insane this is so light and pink and the other one is much darker and it's not as pink anymore it's, it has more of a yellow into it and uh, the thing is I am an in-between I'm as light as the first one but not as pink and the second one is just too dark so I had to buy them both to try them out and I did a mixture of them but it still ended up darker than me and it's so so pink it's insane. When I applied it, it looked beautiful, mega full coverage. It didn't even change that much when I applied the second layer. So it goes on full coverage from the beginning. It looks very pretty on the skin. I've had it for around two hours by now. I seriously don't know what to say more about it. The contouring on top went really pretty. Everything went on uh, very beautiful. I had no trouble with it. It's a bit intense uh, in the sense that um, it is full coverage, but I can see it very much on my skin. I can see I have closely to a mask on, which is weird. Um, and I can see all my dents being accentuated, which I'm not really impressed about. I want to see how it holds out for the day, especially that it ha because it has the claim uh, that it's supposed to stay on your face for 24 hours. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. I have the Super Stain Matte Inks. I have two of them. These are the two guys I have. The bold one is number 45 Escapist and the light one which I have on my lips is the 05 Loyalist. And um, very nice formula as you can see. It glides on perfectly, uh, pigmented in one swipe. I didn't even have to go with a second layer which is awesome. And um, I had it for two and a half hours on my lips it doesn't fully dry to a matte it is matte but has some kind of sheen to it which is so i would say maybe a satin and um it's very comfortable to wear i don't feel it but it is still a bit tacky so it doesn't fully dry I just ate and drank coffee and it doesn't look bad i do want to reapply it uh especially in this area right here uh, but so far it looks very pretty. It has a very nice dog food applicator and I like the, the fact that it went on perfectly on top and I didn't have to take it off and then reapply it. And I did try out the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara and because I wanted to see how exactly it will look I tried it versus the Lancome Extre Grandiose Extreme Mascara, which you know I love, and um, I have them both on my eyes. I'm gonna give it a close-up. So this side is L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and this is the Grandiose Extreme. So I actually love it a lot. It looks very pretty, and it doesn't make them as heavy as the Lancome does. So I like it so far. I want to see how it stays throughout the day. So yeah, guys, this is um, it for now. I am going to be back in a few hours and let you know how all of this is looking. See you in a little bit. 
Hey guys, it's been very closely to 12 hours and I do have a reason why I haven't checked in. My goal for today is to stay on with this foundation as long as possible, so I don't want this video to be super mega long. Let's start with the foundation first. I have the foundation bunching up in this area and a bit gone around my eyebrows. I don't know how well you can see, but it's a bit gone. No, it's totally gone around my nose all this year area. Here it's gone. Do you see it's lighter than my whole face? I mean, we still should give it credit because it's been 12 hours and I have touched my face and eaten and drank coffee and so on. But yeah, still, I would want to try it more actually before giving a final decision. But as a first impression, I'm not impressed. Okay, next up, the lips. This is the current situation right now. As I said, I've eaten, I drank coffee, and I haven't touched up since you've last seen me, so like 10 hours ago. So it's looking pretty good. I want you to keep in mind that my lips these days were mega dry and patchy and wrinkly, so this is why it might look worse than it actually would be in another day. The formula is really interesting. I am going to talk about it a bit more at the end of this video. And mascara. This is the Lancome one and this is the L'Oreal one. It did transfer a bit on my lid, which is not that bad. I do still think that it looks better than the Lancome side, but look for yourselves, what do you think? I think it's enough close-ups for now. I am going to be back in a few hours and we are going to see what the situation is. Guys, it's um, it's 2.30 a.m. and it's been um, 15 hours and a half since I applied my foundation and 15 hours for the rest, by which I mean mascara and lips. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm confused. I'm gonna start with the foundation. It did bunch up in those areas totally gone on my nose but I might have caught on some allergies I'm not sure so the foundation on my nose is gone and around my mouth here some areas like blotches here you can see I'm white but on the areas it's still on it looks good still my face looks very good after 16 hours 16 hours of wear time. I'm very shocked by the fact that my forehead is shiny. Do you guys see? I know it's a light, but still it's shiny. In different lighting it shines. I'm so dry, but never in my life did a foundation with powder on top shine on me after 15 hours. It looks dry, it did look dry, but never shine. So now I'm confused. Did I put too much highlighter or is it foundation? Also, what I don't like about this foundation at all in their shade range. I tried finding more information about these shades on the internet, but I do live uh, in Europe and um, I only found the Maybelline.com site and there the shades are numbered differently. So there is that, but uh, from what I've seen, first of all, the first and second shade has a very big difference between them. Super pink and then super yellow, super light and then dark for a uh, second shade, which is called ivory. Like, come on guys, you can do better. I will uh, try tomorrow again and do on one check-in, not after many hours of wear time, but just to see if it uh, performs differently or something like that. I'm just I can give a full review, but as a first impressions, mm, I liked it, but I wasn't impressed because I've watched so many people rave the, rave about it. Yes, it's mega full coverage. Yes, it kind of stayed on, but for a 24-hour wear claim, my foundation should have looked better. Okay enough about that my eyes by which i mean my lashes i'm impressed by this mascara 
It's very good. I do really like it. And the lips. I will try the bold one tomorrow. So I can see how a bold one performs. But this new one blew me away. It's still on and I've eaten, guys. And I drank coffee and it's been like 15 hours. And I've had only one touch up because I wasn't careful and I got some foundation on my lips so I had to touch up. So it's been like a full 14 hours since I did not touch my lips with anything besides like food and beverages. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's. It's crusty, but that's my lips underneath. Like this, see? It's crusty. But I'm telling you, my lips are very dry right now. And uh, for very dry lips, it looks uh, okay. It's transfer proof from what I've tried. It's transfer proof. Well, I can see the tiniest amount. I don't even think you're gonna, gonna be able to see it. So it dries matte with a tiny bit of sheen maybe. It's tacky all day. Like you can feel it all day on your lips. I usually hate and I cannot stand any tacky lipsticks. I if I feel something being tacky on my lips, I start basically eating it. And actually I've been doing that today. I rubbed it and it's still on. Like what? And this one didn't bother me, like, almost not at all. I can't, I can't believe myself, it impressed me, it impressed the hell out of me. And the color is really pretty, you guys, it's really, really beautiful. Hey guys, day two here. Um, I've had this foundation for um, a few hours by now, and... I love it so much better today. I did mix it in with some oil. So I think for my skin type, which is dry, is uh, much better if it's mixed in with some oil. It looks so much better. I look filtered and blurred and um, it's so full coverage. I don't feel it on my skin. It looks a lot better. So I do think if you're dry, you should mix it in with something more hydrating. But other than that, I love it. Unfortunately, I couldn't try out the bold lipstick today just because ah uh, i couldn't so yeah guys this is it for what i have to say i do like it it didn't impress me that much just because well i don't know i've heard too many good things about it so i had uh, very big expectations okay guys so this complete my first impressions of the Maybelline Superstay foundation and the Maybelline Superstay matte inks and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise mascara. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give me a big thumbs up, go subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any fine. But I love you and hopefully I'm gonna see you in my next video. Okay guys, I love you. Bye! I said I love you twice. Oh, oh my god, it's 3 a.m. I need to I need to just uh, go sleep. Bye guys.